Ron here. So there's a there's a couple pieces of software that I think are pretty essential uh, in uh, you know a little home lab or you know just in in basic networking in general. I think there's a couple tools that are pretty essential. One of them is Wireshark. Uh, Wireshark is a utility that allows you to basically capture any packet running through your system or through a, s a certain interface. It allows you to break down that uh, you know packet and kind of look inside of it, shake it up, sort by you know what you find. And it's 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 pretty helpful in you know just seeing what's what's going on in your network obviously if you're hooked to a switch you might not be getting all you know the traffic going across your network but there there are ways around this uh, but Wireshark's pretty cool it fires up uh, win pcap in the background uh, and again just allows you to kind of capture uh, what's going on in your network so just a just a quick demonstration we've got a list available capture interfaces so we'll bring that up and you can kind of look sometimes just see which packets are coming across you notice uh, across my one interface uh, we're starting to see a couple packets uh, no real traffic because again I'm not doing anything but you can click start okay so what's gonna happen is as packets come in they'll show up here so let's generate some packets so I can bring up command prompt uh, and I can ping my gateway 172.16.0.1 uh, I get some replies and all of a sudden I've got all these packets going on in the background alright so you can we'll go ahead and stop uh, the live capture and just kinda look at what we found so 239's we got a bunch of multicasts going on in the network uh, but here's what's important so source was dot z dot three which is my computer destination I sent to dot one which is my gateway I used protocol ICMP so that's the uh, internet control message protocol and I set an echo ping request okay so we can even further break that down and you can look at what's in the actual frame the ethernet to you know headers the IPv4 headers uh, the ICMP protocols and then below that it actually tries to take the the data that was in it and see if it it comes out to text and well here we see uh, in the Windows world a ping is a packet that has A B C D E F and goes all the way up uh, to W and then starts over don't ask me but that's that's what they do so you can kinda break it down uh, look at okay I was going to destination this oh that's that MAC address uh, source was me and this is my MAC address alright internet uh, protocol IP you can kinda of break it down this was my source destination just like it showed up there but there are further things down here different you can look at the the different flags that were set so protocol was one which lines up for ICMP uh, and then the the checksums you you can uh, make sure that they came out correct. So I've used this tool before when we uh, we had uh, one device uh, that was you know transmitting packets to another device, but uh, they were doing it in such a way that the the protocols that they were using, yeah, one device said it was you know IP uh, v4 all this kind of stuff, but it had its own little tweak on it. I guess it assumed you had the same exact device from that manufacturer on the other side because you know when we did a packet capture we noticed okay checksums weren't always coming out correct uh, but the biggest the biggest key was that the frame size was different. On, on one of them it was at 74 uh, and the other one it would come back with slightly less so you knew that the packet changed uh, and, and that they they weren't using you know compatible headers so it wasn't truly IPv4 you know kinda compliant so down here we see more uh, ICMP requests replies all that kinda stuff uh, down here you also see an ARP so for some reason my computer decided uh, let's do an ARP request I guess the the timer ran out uh, for 
uh, for my, uh, my computer and uh, going to the gateway. So it, it sent an ARP request. Hey, if you know who this guy is, tell me. You know, so again, you get to see a little bit more traffic about what's going on uh, in your network. Uh, another cool thing is this whole filter and expression. So if you know exactly the what to type, which you know I forget all the time. There, there are a bunch of manuals that you can kind of look it up. Typically, I end up just cheating uh, and going to expression. Let me bring this over, uh, and you could just start typing and it'll bring up a little box so I know it's IPv4 can open this up do the drop down menu you can sort by versions headers destination or differentiated service fields so DSCP uh, what I'm looking for oops, slide down should be IP source bam we can do an equals and I can put uh, I just want to see the replies that came back so 172.16.0.1 so anything coming from my gateway do it so puts up there again ip.source equals equals and then we just do an apply now anything that 172.16 sent out shows up in here and nothing else so it's it's kind of a cool way if, if you're capturing a, a ton of traffic to kind of filter out uh, just what you want to see. Uh, so that's uh, that's Wireshark. There's a couple different versions floating out, uh, and there's even ones that aren't called Wireshark, uh, but are essentially the exact same thing. It runs WinPCAP in the background uh, and allows you uh, to capture packets as they come come across your network. So check it out. It's a it's a really hand a uh, handy uh, utility uh, for uh, breaking apart your network and seeing what's uh, going across it. So uh, thanks for watching.